What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna show you guys how I made this puff print t-shirt. So stay tuned. So to make my t-shirt, the heat press I use is the e-photo ink. Um, I got this off Amazon. I'll link it below uh, in the description. Um, you're also gonna need a Cricut machine. The that I use is the Cricut Explore Air 2. I also found this on Amazon for about uh, like 200 bucks, I believe, maybe 219. I will link it. I will also link it in the description below. Um, I've used it over the past couple of years and I definitely recommend it. Next, you're gonna need some vinyl. I found this vinyl at Aviva. Um, this is located in Atlanta, if you're in the Atlanta area. If not, you can find your fabrics um, off Amazon. If you just type in puff print, I'm sure you can find whatever color that you need. Um, yeah, so get you some puff print vinyl. So you're also gonna need a standard grip board to hold your vinyl so that you can use to weave all your vinyl. Um, definitely recommend having this also. Uh, you can find these on Amazon if you don't have one. Lastly, find you a blank t-shirt. Um, you can find you a nice blank t-shirt from gpts.com. If you live in Atlanta, you can go to Aviva or 99 Imports if you know you know. Um, but yeah, find you a quick little blank t-shirt and and let's get down to business. So once you got all your supplies set up, all right, now you're ready to upload your design to the Crooked Design Space uh, app. So what you wanna do is go to Upload, which is right here in this left corner. And then the artwork I'm gonna use is this extra mayo because that's for my brand. And I'm gonna add it to Canvas. All right, so you wanna shrink your design. Make sure your design makes sense to uh, the size that you want on your shirt. For example, if you know your shirt is, your vinyl is gonna be 12 inches across the chest, make sure that you are making it 12 inches. So when it comes time to cut, you have enough space to get your design to fit. And then once you get the size that you want, you wanna go ahead and make it. Yep, 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 so there we go. So it's less than 12 inches, so I'm just gonna shift it a little bit. All right, now that you got your design uploaded and ready to go, now you head over to your Cricut machine. You got your vinyl and stuff ready to go and be cut. You open it up so that it's ready. Make sure that your vinyl and blade is right. And then you're gonna hit the C button, the Cricut button to start cutting. <clears throat> so then we're gonna take our carving tool and carve out our design from this vinyl. And then we're gonna press it on our shirt. Excuse my old little uh, vinyl board. <laughs> it is very old. All right, once we carve out everything, it should look something like this. And your actual design should be ready to be pressed on, on your T-shirt. And yeah, so let's do that. Let's press this design on the T-shirt. All right, so right now I just turned on my heat press. I'm gonna allow it to get to at least 300 to 310, and then we'll be ready to press our T-shirt. Okay, so now we got our heat to 313. So this is right at the temperature that we need it to be. And first I'm going to press the shirt down just to get all the moisture out the shirt. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. All right, now that we got our shirt pressed and all the moisture out of it. We're gonna put our design on. And 
Now this is just gauging of where I want it to be. Um, they do have tools that can measure exactly where you want it to be on your shirt. They have those available on Amazon, so feel free to find the exact tools that you need so that you can have the exact measurements that you want. So I think I have the exact place that I want my design to be. And yeah, it says Extra Mayo. Extra Mayo is my brand. Um, I have a lot to drop coming soon. So make sure you check that out. Follow me on Instagram at Extra Mayo Apparel. All right, so look at that puff print. Nice and puffy. But yeah, what you want to do is let it cool down first before you peel anything off. I think it's ready to peel now. Let's see how we did. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's lit. Look at that puff. Extra mayo, baby. All right guys, be sure to check out everything else that I got on my channel. It's a lot of other how-to videos. Thank you to everybody that tuned in today. I appreciate you. Um, if you're new to my channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'm out.